Hello there beautiful people. Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Happy weekend to everybody. So today as you can tell in front of me, I have a Kenzo perfume or fragrance rather. Uh, so if you get a little bit confused why there are two bottles, they are not the same. One is a flanker to the other, which is uh, very first one is Kenzo Sport, which I did cover two months back when it was winter time. And I told you this is Francois Dimarche's, one of the masterpiece, super underrated, flying under the radar kind of perfume got this freshness, you know, and then uh, sweetness, longevity is good. And then today I have the Kenzon Sport Extreme. That's the name difference. If you see very few differences, but I'll show you the differences. Okay. As you can see from packaging, their bottles are almost identical, except the names are different boxes. You can see there's like a no line in the border of the blue. Here you get that orange colored on the bamboo, which both say sport, but there's one thing different. Sports are, sports written, I think in red or orange i cannot tell properly i think it's red yes um, and then uh, the the bo boxes have that bamboo sort of a vibe and these bottles are very unique uh, these are both also um, you can say a flanker to kenzo om or kenzo purum which used to be called okay so kenzo very underrated house i have this pre-sprayed on the paper we'll talk about this i'll show you the presentation how it smells prayer longevity who can wear this stuff like that so first of all i would like to say kenzo my trusted buddy house you know this house doesn't get enough love the reason being isimiyake kenzo you know like these houses people talk about them once in a blue moon you know I, i'm very happy to cover a lot of kenzo perfumes i'll leave a link below as usual you can check them out my previous kenzo perfumes and i, I feel very proud to review them you know uh, i think uh, kenzo makes some excellent fragrances some freshes some darker ones there were some spicy oriental ones for both gents and uh, ladies uh, I think I want to review one from this, one more from this line. It's called Boise. I think uh, Kenzo Om Sport Boise or just Boise. That's the brown bottle. I do not see it everywhere, but I'm very interested to try that. But what interests me in this line is that I want to review them. Perhaps I will not keep because I have so many of these perfumes. But if I keep it, I'll use it. But I think people should try them. Okay. Uh, so here we go. This is the big boy bottle. They come in multiple bottle sizes, 50, 100. And I don't know if there's any other sizes, but they're the two standard sizes. If you pay retail, they're going to go up to $70, $85, you know, that's the pricing. But if you find discounted sites, these will be like uh, $55 to $65. But nowadays, fragrance prices are a little bit getting expensive, so I cannot say for sure. Uh, so just like the other one, let me show you the presentation of that. Check out my Kenzo Om Sport review. This is how the bottle lo box looks. Okay, it says Kenzo Om Sport. One of my favorite house because it's very distinctive in terms of uh, let's say the bottle let's say low par kenzo excellent bottle i miss that fragrance i'm gonna repurchase it but uh, that is one of my summer favorite summer fragrance so check this out kenzo om sport extreme it's a sport here in the picture of a bamboo and i think it's just light supposedly more extreme version so they give you like a red on the uh, edge of the bamboo shape and i reviewed also kenzo om EDP, I think recent times, EDP or EDT instance. At the back, it says Kenzo Om Sport Extreme. This is also Francois Dimash, who made it, I think. It says Kenzo up there. So nice little packaging. Okay. I'm being a bit careful because they're very close by to each other. I don't want to knock them off because they're standing on very, uh, you can say, not very big base. So you have to be careful when you keep them on the edge of a table. So this is that beautiful bottle. Once again, it's engraved in the bottle. I think this is some leaves of bamboo tree. And then a sport extreme. It's red actually because of the lighting. It looks orange. I think it's red. And you can see the juice color. I'm mean, sorry. I always say juice color. Juice level. And built-in atomizer. Sprayers are very good. It's a Kenzo up here. It reminds me kind of like Lolita Lempi Cow Masculine. All bottles. They have this kind of sprayers. Base. It looks like that. I think this is a 2013 release. Let me show you the sprayer on this. Okay. Shoots a lot of juice. Okay. Uh, really nice atomizer. Let me spray some more on the paper for opening top note. Uh, yes, excellent spray. So these bottles supposedly the represents the katana sword or something as far as I know. If I'm wrong, I do apologize. But these are uh, the warrior sort of uh, katana sword. The handle of the sword, I think. That's what it's uh, reminiscent of. So when I smell it first off, this is a fragrance I would not say everybody would instantly get the vibe. You know, uh, the reason being it's not it's very unusual kind of a sporty flanker. And it can be a fresh perfume at the same time it can be a sweet depending on how you describe it but they got some fresh notes in here okay so some of the fresh notes would be mint okay heavy dosage of mint in this and it's a uh, kind of like uh 
peppery mint you know it's like a peppermint you know like if you know those gums and stuff if you smell some of the uh, peppery mints you know they grow a bit of the wild mint i believe they give the peppery kick it's not the sweet ish uh, type of mint so very uh, unique think of cartier roadster but that's a bit more sweeter side and fresher this one it's a little bit more spicy mint so definitely uh, that one of the best mint opening in a fragrance kind of like a green herbaceous and peppery and also sweet so also has this lemon candied lemon so that's the good news uh, to balance the pepper you get some candied uh, lemony sweetness uh, that's what i believe the sweetness of the lemon gives it kind of like a sweet opening okay but the spices also accompanied by something like a peppery note i believe up top it's called pink pepper or sichuan pepper or black pepper one of those you know like uh, it's a spicy citrusy minty opening okay so those who are in fragrance game for some time they'll be like hmm mint and sweetness citrus what does it remind me of is, is it something like versace eros yes if you like versace eros you're gonna like this a lot but it's not same like versace eros versace eros got uh at the base some vanilla so it's it goes to like green apple vanilla mint okay and tonka this one doesn't go tonka this one goes oceanic okay and uh, Francois Dimarchi does Diorum Sport. He did when he was an in-house perfumer for Dior. He did Diorum Sport. All of these Dior flankers, Diorum line. And he's a master perfumer. One of the best in the game. So that C notes, aquatic, uh, like a, a fresh note. It's different. This is what Kenzo does. Kenzo Purum, if you smell, you'll not perhaps like it at first. It's kind of like a salty, aquatic, kind of got this green, watery, aquatic vibe. Very different from everything else. Okay. Uh, even Isimiyake is a bit sweeter compared to this house. Okay. So that's why I'm saying this fragrance is not going to be understood by everybody. Okay, when you smell it, perhaps you like this one a little bit more because this one got more citrus compared to this. This is more lemony. Also got some mint and stuff, but it's lighter. It's, it's more watery. This one got more body to it. That's why it's called extreme. Definitely feels more robust. So the thing is, up after that, that oceanic, breezy, uh, watery accords, uh, perhaps the fragrance uh, settles down nicely. Some of its uh, pepper settles down nicely. You get a little bit of hint of that mint, but it's toned down, okay? So toned down mint, lemon is gone at this point, and then you feel that watery vibe. It's, a, it, it's something like being on a boat, beautiful blue skies, clear day, you know, you're sailing, you're boating, fishing. Uh, you smell the sound of the sea. If you ask me, does it have the seaweed vibe? No, I don't get that from this, but definitely feels watery. Definitely feels... Uh, extreme sporty uh, kind of a feel so if you like to have something called a uh, totally fresh unique uh, robust that would project a lot last along this one definitely lasts longer than the sport version which this one is not bad this is definitely lasts longer than Dior sport on me and actually say this one is a better deal than Dior sport because this fragrance uh, almost has the same uh, DNA but the sport extreme has the sweetness I don't know what's giving it the sweetness with the pepper I think the sweetness it's not tonka bean it's something like raisinous but uh, hard to describe right so it's a sweet you can classify it as semi-sweet semi-fresh kind of a fragrance and uh, the peppery vibe it gives that whole robustness so i would say this fragrance is a bit mature you know you can wear this in the workplace definitely makes an interesting scent kind of versatile in that way you can put this on a couple of sprays to go to cinema okay not a gym scent for me i mean i don't see people wearing it for gym but Think of after shower, you know, the feel of water, cold, cool water that was, you know, running down your body, cooling you down. If you want to extend the freshness, 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 freshness of shower, you can also wear this, but doesn't have a body gel vibe, like shower gel vibe. It's a nice, uh, like nat nature, like nice blue perfume. Okay. Still I'll say this is blue and the secondary notes is green. Okay. Third would be something like a sweet or perhaps peppery vibe. So the greenness, maybe there's a vetiver, I don't know. Okay, grassy green vibe from this, but at the very last stage, you'll get that. So that's the whole fragrance life of this. Over longevity, I get from this like five to six hours. Okay, this is a, you have to understand, this is, these are kind of classified as a fresh perfume. These are not your super sweet, like Versace Eros gives you eight to 10 hours. You will not get it. But right now, Versace Eros is a lot more expensive than this. I don't know why Versace Eros in Bangladesh currently is selling 100 ml, well over $85. And it's getting a really, little bit harder to find. Perhaps the production is low. But if you like the DNA of Eros, okay, if you like uh, the Kuros, there's one silver, you know, Kuros silver, I think, yes. 
and then you can try this one okay it's an interesting twist not the same it's not a clone of anything very interesting fragrance originality definitely out there uniqueness is out there bottle is beautiful underrated overall my rating for this fragrance it's solid 8.5 out of 10 okay uh, the reason being this is an uniqueness galore but i cannot give it over 10 out of 10 because it's not quite a fragrance i would recommend blind buying if you happen to be at the mall just passing by pick up this fragrance if they were tested or if i don't know if it's discontinued but if you have them any in shops if they're willing to show you try these fragrances okay and do let me know how you like them try the dry down first and then see okay i think the dry down of this fragrance is really beautiful and it's not as daring okay so 8.5 or what did i get 8.5 let's call it 8.5 out of 10 for kenzo om sport extreme thank you very much for watching uh, and uh, always thanks for your support we have one more video coming up and then we'll upload this have a nice day bye bye